Whoa, what's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and let's talk about it. The movie Elvis. One for the morning, two for the show. Three for the morning, man, go, 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 now don't you. <coughs> Step on some blue suede shoes. <laughs> the king, Elvis. Now, Elvis' film was uh, met with a lot of people who were saying, you know, first off, uh, Austin Butler, who played Elvis, he played a great young Elvis person. You know, um, Tom Hanks is, who played basically Tom Parker, Parker the Colonel. You know, he played a great role there. Uh, But overall, I felt that this movie was too many cooks in the kitchen. Um, this film was basically what you would call a Warner Brothers safe movie, and they didn't want to get into any grit. You know, um, they go through 20 years of Elvis. Uh, they show the happiness with Priscilla, they, but they kind of, they kind of glanced over all the, <clears throat> you know, the the real tension and the meat of the story. To me, <clears throat> sorry about the throat. To me, that was the meat of the film. And I felt they failed at um, landing the meat of the film. You know, my mother is a huge Elvis fan because of the movies, really sold it for her. You know, so she loved like Blue Hawaii and all those type of films. So she became, like, fell in love with Elvis because of the movies. I just felt that they did the they did the movie a miss you know basically a uh, misservice or disservice rather and how safe they kept the film you know and I just think they should have at least if you're gonna do a movie about Elvis you got to get to the grit. Elvis would have wanted that. <clears throat> now the visuals and everything that was um, that was working for the film. Visuals was amazing. So, seeing the visuals, um, you know, um, and everything looked stunning, but it looked like a remake or re, you know, reenactment of scenes that we've already seen before. But audience is going to love it. Like, if you want to see an Elvis movie, fine. This is it. Um, it's just that... It's just... I felt you got to tell the good and the bad, you know, and that's how you people make, when you make a movie, you can't just gloss over things, but it's like, a, it's almost like a video collage, you know, and it's hard to ignore those flaws in a movie. This is like all lies on me. When I told y'all all eyes on me seem like a two hour um, music video. 
That's what this is. Elvis feels like a video collage rather than a movie, and a lot of grit is missing from this film. So I give it two stars out of four. You know, I think Tom Hanks did a great job as the Colonel, but I, I really think they could have went further with that. It's everything they could have went further with. Priscilla, they could have went further with. The the issues with race and, you know, and trying to make Elvis this hero and rewriting history is just, it was bad. And my point, because I was like, man, it's a missed opportunity here. You got the right cast. You got the right guy to play Elvis. Why are you messing this up? This made no sense to me or the general public that made that went to pay money to see this film. They were confused. People who were supposed to love it didn't. They liked it. And that wasn't supposed to be for an Elvis movie. This is like an abstract for Elvis fans. You know, this is this is like a music video scene for the lovers of Elvis. And to me, it seemed like a music video for those who like sensationalism. Like a sizzle reel. This is a two and a half hour sizzle reel. <laughs> Elvis! Here it is. The king is here. Dun, 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 dun. One for the money, two for the show. I'm going to get paid and all the life goes gone now. We're going to make some money out there. So hopefully someday, somebody tell the real story of Elvis. And we can get some real stuff going on. I've seen better documentaries of Elvis than this. And that's a failure to me. But it was visually stunning. Uh, the performances were great. When they were conducted, I just felt like I just, like everybody else felt. Look, man, we need we need grit. <laughs> I need some grit, grit, grit. I don't need bubblegum Elvis. I need the real. You know what I mean? So. Anyway, thank you for watching Screen Fiend. Uh, more movie reviews are coming. They're going to be coming fast and heavy. And we will be giving out a free movie, Uncharted, for all the fans. Anyway, I'm out. Deuces.